You're live. Right now? Mm-hmm. Hey, everybody. As you know, I'm Kenneth, and I'm reading Alan Packard's um, Lenten devotional for today, Saturday, April 11th. Um, this... This passage comes from Philippians chapter 2, verses 9 through 11, and it says, it is written, Therefore, God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of those in heaven and of those on earth. And of those under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. That is Philippians chapter 2, verses 9 through 11. And again, this Devo is written by Alan Packard. It says, this is very short just three verses. Passages of scripture is from Paul's letter to the church at Philippi. He is writing to his former congregation regarding their being unified in the humility of Christ. In verses 5 through 8, Paul speaks of Jesus' humility and accepting death, even death on a cross in order to show obedience to his Father in all things. Unity through humility and obe obedience to our faith. In the three years of Christ's ministry, Jesus exhibited a selfless life. Everything he did, everything he did, every action he took, he showed a selfless lifestyle which the world had never se seen before and has not seen since. Not a single word in the four Gospels shows Jesus expressing concern for himself. Every word of his preaching, every action of his ministry, was directed at other people. Not everyone responded to his lifestyle or message, but it was always there, even in the Garden of Gethsemane. He accepted his father's will and faced a cruel and painful death to offer us, all of us, salvation. Paul, Paul is reminding us of these facts and showing us what reward is brought to Jesus. For his selflessness and suffering, his reward for eternity is to be recognized as the Son of God. All, not some, not a few, not a couple, all shall bow in his presence. All shall honor him, Jesus. All shall do his will. If they wish to be received in his presence, in the presence of his Father, and we know that Jesus is to be our judge, what will our reward be? And here's a prayer written by Alan. Help us, O Lord, to see our unity through humility. And I'm, I'm going to repeat that. Help us, O oh Lord, to see our unity through humility to obedience in our faith that we may find the path to salvation. Help us to understand Christ's message for us. Make it clear to each of us. Show us the way through the example of Christ's life of selfless love of others. 
that we need to accept and follow in all occasions. May we put aside ourselves and always focus on others, the least, the lone, and the lost. So be it. And amen, written by Alan Packard. And for those of you who tuned in last week, and I realize I shut the light off. Um, for those of you who tuned in last week, I said, can you guess where I am? So I say it again. Can you guess where I am? Oh, Ashton turned the light on. Okay. Don't, don't, oh, don't give him too much. <laughs> can you guess where Kenneth is right now? I will give you a hint. I am in the church building somewhere. Um, and that's all you get. Um, 